So my name's Chris Simons. Uh, this is my farm, the Funky Farm, down on the Mornington Peninsula in Australia. Uh, home to about 150 animals, <laughs> including this little bloke. <laughs> Got an range of animals here from uh, marsupials, reptiles, mammals, and uh, obviously a lot of farm animals as well. So this is a passion of mine and my wife's. You know, we're hoping to open it up for special needs children and adults to do animal therapy and to learn a trade. We're also gonna open it up to the public uh, and focus on tourism. I'm also a jockey by trade. I've been riding since uh, 1999. I had my first ride at a place called Kimba. Probably the biggest highlights of my career was riding in three Melbourne Cups. Uh, the first year I rode a horse called Kibbutz. Uh, he ran 10th. And the following year I rode a horse called Newport. He ran 9th. And I thought, gee whiz, I might win this in another eight years. But uh, then I got to ride a horse called Sap de Party. Uh, unfortunately, Sap de Party ran 28th in the Melbourne Cup. They only run 24. The clerk of the course has beat me home. But uh, that's been my riding career. I haven't won a Group 1 as yet, but I've won over a thousand races in my 18 years of riding, so which has been good. But doing charity work is a passion of mine and, and my wife's, and we get behind a lot of different charity events depending on what it is. But uh, our farm's not a charity, but you know we're hoping to to help people in you know that that need it with special needs, whereas animal therapy can help a lot, and we've seen it. Uh, with riding for the disabled and things like that. So that's something that we're passionate about and that's what the Funky Farm's all about. So where are we are now? We're in Dave's Dingo Den. Uh, these are alpine dingoes. Uh, they've got more of a woollier coat uh, for the alpine regions. The further you go up north of Australia, uh, you come across desert dingoes, uh, which have got a shorter coat, as well as uh, tropical dingoes. And they're a bit smaller in breed. We've got three different colours of dingoes. We've got all three colours. We've got uh, the gingers, uh, we've got the white dingo, and we've got the black and tan. All these four dingoes have been DNA'd. Uh, they're purebred dingoes. Uh, there's a lot of hybrids out there now in the wild where domestic dogs have bred with dingoes and created hybrids, and there's a variety of colours that they come in. But uh, as I said, these have all been DNA'd and they're purebred dingoes. Uh, we're going to see the Highlander steer. Most people are intimidated by him. Oh, here he comes. He's already come up. Let's go down this way. Ooh, he's running. Oh. Boy, eh? Yeah. So he's a Scottish Highlander. This one here is a um, Black Angus. So this we got him as a potty calf, and uh, we've reared him because his mother died. Friends of ours gave him to us, so he's just a pet now. And Hamish, he was also an orphan, um, and he was hand reared. And he's a Scottish Highlander. He's quite an intimidating animal due to his horns, and he could do a lot of damage to one 
Uh, but as I said, he is hand reared, but when food's involved, he can become a little bit boisterous. But he does like a scratch. But I don't want a horn in my head. So Hamish is 13, um, and he's an ex-Carlton Draft horse. Unfortunately, they shut down the Carlton Draft team in Victoria, but uh, fortunately for us, we were able to get him, and um, he's been with us for probably three months. He's a delight to be around. He's 18 two hands. God knows what he weighs, but he's a gentle giant. Similar to Budweiser, um, Carlton Draft have their, well, it's a beer, and they've got their own brand, which is basically around the Carlton Draft horse. And, uh, they've got a team, I think, in Sydney uh, that, you know, promote the beer and, and take the cart out. And they had a team here in Victoria, but unfortunately no longer exists. So uh, we were lucky enough to obtain this bloke. Uh, so this is Crikey. He's our saltwater crocodile. He's probably six years old. Uh, we've probably had him for a year and a half. At full length, you know, they can get in the wild, they're, you know, four plus metres. Um, they're designed for battle, aren't they? They've got an armour on top, uh, which is really tough. They've got three eyelids. Obviously, they can swim, they can go on land. Um, you know, they're just an ultimate battle machine, really. I reckon he's awesome. He loves Sam. He's not a big fan of me. This is Crikey, our saltwater crocodile. They're quite soft underneath. They're an amazing animal. They're so prehistoric. They're very territorial, and they can get really big. Wait. Wait. 